Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told out of Voice of Radio, so today we need to talk about that Paradox Rift set, because there's been a couple of bits of news that have come out, and now we've had a little bit of news stuff today, we've got some clearer images of some of the cards, it is time to sit down and have a bit of a look about what we know about this set, bearing in mind some of the stuff we know isn't stuff we know, but we know, ladies and gentlemen, we know. Now, there are a few things we know for certain. We know the set is called Paradox Rift. We know that the Elite Trainer Box is going to be themed after Iron Valiant. We know that because this image was put on the Pokemon Center Canada a couple of days ago. It was on the official website. It was right there to be seen. And it's very clearly real and legit. And like I say, we know that the... Japanese sets are named in such a way that it seems like they are going to be featuring these Paradox Pokemon. So this all made perfect sense, seemed legit, and of course, it was literally on the Pokemon Center Canada website. That seems to be about right. Now, it's going to be our November set. How do we know it's going to be our November set? Because we just had Obsidian Flames, and Obsidian Flames is our August set. And in England, and the US, Europe, etc., and the rest of the UK, to be fair, I was going to say English and I switched to England, it's all good. Other European languages as well. We have sets four times a year, in February, May, August, and November. Therefore, if Paradox Rift is coming after Obsidian Flames, and Obsidian Flames is our August set, Paradox Rift is going to be our November set. And I know that sometimes sets end up getting delayed, etc., the mid-November set never gets delayed. Pokemon do not delay the mid-November set. And the reason for that is extremely simple. Because of Christmas. Mid-November is the perfect time to drop a new TCG set, new video game, etc. Because people generally start shopping for Christmas around about mid-November. The mid-November set doesn't move. We've had entire years of the Pokemon TCG, which are skew with for various reasons, but the mid-November set comes out mid-November. That is the way it always happens. Paradox Rift is going to be the mid-November set. The exact date, I don't know, but it's going to be mid-November, so, and I don't know this for certain, but the 10th, 17th, or 24th of November. It's going to be one of those three Fridays. Third's a bit too early, and the first of December is too late. So, assume it's going to be one of those three Fridays. Probably the 10th or 17th, to be honest with you. So, yeah, there we go. That's what we know. We also have a bunch of cards that are going to be coming in the set, and we've got a couple of mechanics. Now, just to be perfectly clear, because I, I think this has confused some people, we are not getting a specs in Paradox Rift. Because we were told very clearly yesterday at the World, a couple of days ago at the World Championships, that they are coming in 2024. They are not coming in, in, in 2023. And this is our November 2023 set. So just to be perfectly clear, we will not be getting A-spec cards in Paradox Rift. That is one of the things we know about the set. It ain't happening, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't happening. Now, our February 2024 set, I mean, the Pokemon TCG works in years. And basically, Paradox Rift is Scarlet and Violet 4. It is the end of year one of Scarlet and Violet. Pokemon love introducing new mechanics in, or, you know, returning mechanics at the beginning of a new year. So this makes perfect sense. What we are going to be getting in Paradox Rift Ah, oh, we're going to be getting these future and ancient Pokemon. Now, do we know for a fact that they are coming in the set? Yeah, we do know that Iron Valiant is coming in the set. There is absolutely no way whatsoever Iron Valiant is coming in the next set. And we have had an Iron Valiant EX officially revealed, and it's not the one from the next set. I mean, technically, it hasn't actually been confirmed, but come on, ladies and gentlemen, it's been confirmed. And if this Iron Valiant is coming in the next set, and it has to be coming in the next set, because Iron Valiant is on the Elite Trainer Box, this Iron Valiant has been confirmed, come on, 
then that means that Ancient and Future Pokemon are going to be coming in the next set. I know. That's pretty good. And if Ancient and Future Pokemon like Iron Valiant are coming in the next set, in this Paradox Rift set, then it basically means that all of the ones shown off yesterday are going to be coming in that set. And that means we can have a look at these. And we do actually have proper official English clear images of these now which makes me very happy indeed. So starting off with Iron Valiant this does have a ridiculous ability a ridiculous ability. It's called Tachyon Bits and once during your turn when this Pokemon moves on eventually active you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. The thing is we, we have lots of 60 and 70 HP Pokemon around right now. And you, you can play four of these in your deck. And if you get all of them into the active, because even if you do this multiple times, you still only have it once per Iron Valiant. But you can do it on all four Iron Valiant, you could legit donk small Pokemon with this. You could legitimately get a turn one win before your opponent has even started the game. Like, as in, you go first, you're not allowed to attack, but you are allowed to play this and a whole bunch of switching cards. And, and it's not going to happen all that often because of draws and you're not allowed to play a supporter turn one, at least going first. But still, it's actually possible. That's ridiculous. The attack is free energy, 200, can't do it next turn. Nobody really cares. The ability is nuts. Now, we were also shown Roaring Moon and we got a proper official image of this. Weirdly, we did not get proper clear official images of all of the cards that were revealed in English yesterday which doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me. But this is an ancient Pokemon rather than a future Pokemon. And for free, Darkness Energy, instant KO on anything. And sure, you've got to take 200 damage back, but I don't really care. Because like the deal here is you use it to KO something so, you know, that's so important. It doesn't really matter if you get KO'd back. But they've actually got to KO you because you'll be left with 30 HP remaining. And if they don't KO you, you can KO something else. And sure, at that point, you will KO yourself. But you've gotten two KOs doing so. Like, if they're max KOs, you've already won the game. I, I love this. This is phenomenal. And, of course, remember, you've got Dark Patch here. So, turn one going second. If your opponent passes with anything in the active, you can win the game with this. We've then got Calamity Storm, free energy, 100, discard a stadium if you do 220. And actually, 220 is a key number. It KOs Pokemon V. And discarding a stadium is good. I, I really like this as well. I, people seem more excited about Iron Valiant, and I get it, because you can potentially donk with it, you know, win before your opponent's even drawn a card. But I think this is better than the other one. I love this. I think it's brilliant. Now, Pokemon did also officially reveal the two illustration rares. That is to say, the illustration rare of Iron Moth and Brute Bonnet. We've seen the cards in English. We have screenshots of the trailer. We just, for some reason, don't have a full look at them. And I don't really know why, truth be told. Hey ho, ladies and gentlemen. Can't win them all. So anyway, what have we got here? Well, Iron Moth, and I will put the regular artwork here as well so you can compare them. Thermal Reactor is a cool little ability. Once during your turn, when you move on your bench to the active, you can move any amount of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it. And then Free Energy, 120, can't use this attack next turn. Free Energy on 130 HP Pokemon makes me nervous. But actually, the fact that you can move the energy over as you do this is pretty cool. Now, Brute Bonnet comes in with Toxic Powder. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule attached, you may make both active Pokemon poisoned. Now, look, a couple of things going on here. Firstly, we have confirmation that there is a presumably tool called Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, and that does imply the existence of a future Booster Energy Capsule. That is not confirmed, but if you played the video games and you, you, know, you know there's an ancient one, it would make sense for there to be a future one. That is not confirmed. That is a guess on my part. But I, I think we've got good reason to believe that might be true. And then we've got free energy, 120. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. But because you've got free energy and then there's no cheating to get the energy on here, I'm actually not really a fan at all. Now, there are two other cards that we've seen, but we only know about them from the trailer. For some reason, I don't understand. 
they've not actually gone and shown us the full card here. And I don't really know why, honestly. Why, why would they not? It's just weird at this point. Never mind. What we've got here, we've got a future and a past. The future we've got is Iron Bundle. Now, this has got the ability Happy Blower. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch your opponent's active to the bench. They choose what replaces it. And then you have to discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. Do check out the lovely Kato artwork. It's a, it is a discard, not a KO, so you don't give up prizes for doing so. I like this. I like the fact you can sit on the bench and then basically activate it at any point. That seems pretty good to me. Free energy, 80, and if it's an evolution Pokemon, it can't attack next turn, the one you hit. It's fine, but there's too much switching in the format at the moment, and you've got to get free energy on to do it. I don't think it's going to work or be relevant terribly often. And then in terms of the last ancient, we got Screamtail. Screamtail's actually busted. And I don't think I made enough of a point about this the other day, so let me make a big point about it now. For two energy, this Pokemon does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Now, this just goes into Gardevoir. And it's ridiculous in Gardevoir. This is the reason you have to play Manaphy against Gardevoir now. Because, of course, you need to get eight damage counters on there. And the way you do that is by accelerating four energy with Gardevoir. And I know you don't need four energy for the attack. You only need two. But bearing in mind, Gardevoir EX can keep accelerating energy from the discard. So when you get KO'd, it, it's fine. Gardevoir can get the energy back. And then all of a sudden, you're doing 80 times two. So it's 160 to any of your opponent's Pokemon anywhere on the field. If you've got eight damage counters on, you are doing 160 anywhere on the field, and getting eight damage counters on is really easy when Gardevoir EX is a thing. Screamtail is busted in Gardevoir, and I told you this card could be good the other day, but I'll be honest with you, I did not make enough of a point about how busted it was. I didn't tell you it's absolutely ridiculous in Gardevoir. So let me tell you now, this is absolutely ridiculous in Gardevoir. There's going to be some kind of mechanic and other support cards coming around because it's an ancient Pokemon that it can take advantage of. Don't care. Regardless of what they are, this is busted in Gardevoir. I think Roaring Moon and Screamtail are absolute stars, and I think Iron Valiant could be really good as well. We already have reason to believe that Paradox Rift is going to be a phenomenal set. So there we go. That's everything we know about it for the moment. There's going to be more news, and you know, ladies and gentlemen, that I will be here to bring it to you all. So do make sure you subscribe, would ya? But for now, I want to make sure that you tell me everything about these cards and everything about the set, your hopes, your dreams, anything else that you figured out that you think I might have missed. So go nuts in the comment section, but be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.